Now comes the tricky part. This is not a tricky part, Master. No? I can do it. All right, let me see. All right, Isabel, you ready? <laughs> so last time you were training with the master, right? You were chosen to be the master's apprentice and you went into training. But remember, he set you up against a monster. What was the monster? A frog hemoth. Yes, a frog hemoth. And how did you take care of the frog hemoth? By stinking him with my magic stink beetle. That's right. You stunk him with your magic stink beetle. So, now, you, are, you and the master have traveled back to the master's keep. And you're going to start the second part of your training. Are you excited? Yes. All right. Well, <clears throat> Isabel, <laughs> you did such a fabulous job <laughs> uh, against the frog hemoth. And I think you're ready to move on to the next part of your training. Now, before your battle with the frog hemoth, you um... had said you wish you had a an ability. Do you remember what that ability was? Well, I don't because um, I don't know the word for it. Oh, well, you said that you really wish you had flying ability. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Well, if you can pass my next set of challenges for you, I might just be able to provide you with a means of flying. How does that sound? <laughs> yes. Yes? I really, really want to fly again. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, for my first challenge, I would like for you to make a pyramid. Thank can you make you. a pyramid? Yes, I can. My gi taught me to. Oh, your gi taught you to? Mm hmm. She lives very far away. Oh, does she? Mm-hmm. First time I go to her house. And then I made a pyramid out of my tall triangles. Oh, wow. Well, can you, can you continue to build one now? Mm-hmm. I really, really love it. And at the bottom, I used a blue triangle. Oh, yes? Well, do you have a blue triangle there? I don't know. That's a green one. Why don't you use a green one? It's green like me. <laughs> and my green dice. Oh, yes, you have green dice. But finish this triangle. Or this, we'll put that triangle on your pyramid. Well, if you want the ability to fly. Well, my diamond pouch is blue. Well, I think this is a blue triangle. There you go. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Master. Yes, now build it. Well, there. Very good. One more piece. Perfect. That is a good pyramid. Very good. Oh, I almost, I almost messed it up. But I didn't. It's right there. All right, that's a good pyramid. But let's... Make it a little more challenging, all right? Okay. Can you build me a pyramid that has a square bottom? Oh, I can. I'm just going to put it over here. I'm putting this orange triangle here. That's right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting this green triangle here. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that quite works. It does. I totally know. So I'm going to plan it out. See, Master, it looks like a diamond. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yes. Why don't you put your triangles on the all four corners of this the, the, the square there? I'm going to put this one here. Oh, yes, you see. I see you figured it out. Perfect. 
And one more piece to go. <gasps> it's another green triangle, Master. It is another green triangle. Thank you, Master. Wow, what a perfect pyramid with a square bottom. All right. Now, I have one more shape. Did you know? Oh, did I know what? Um, and see, Boomy Zoomy, Umi Car ate a pyramid with, um, a square bottom. Oh, my goodness. Well, that helped you with this training, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, for your final challenge, I would like for you to build me a cube with all of these pieces. <laughs> all right? Can you give me all of those pieces, too? Nope, you only need these pieces to build the cube. Um, can you build it? Can I make a family of triangles? Well, first, I would like for you to build a cube. Okay, I'm going to leave some room for the triangles that go in. Okay, well, we'll see first. I'm going to leave it at the top. Okay, well, let's first build a cube. And if you build the cube, <gasps> you will have the ability to fly. You understand me? Yes. All right, well, let's build it. So I'm putting this green one right here. That sounds like a very good plan. It's green just like my green dice and my green triangles. That is very correct. You are very good at your squares. colors. All right, how are you going to build a cube out of all of those things? So, first, I'm going to put this one here right here. I'm going to use this green one for the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to use this yellow one for this side. Okay. <coughs> I'm using this orange one for this side. Very good. All right, here, let me help by moving this out of your way a little bit. There you go. But at my first trial, you said I cannot help. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to help you too much. I was just trying to give you room. That wasn't really helping you make the shape. But you're doing a fantastic job. Continue. Oh, I'm going to use this first, and I'm going to use the second one. Mm-hmm. Now comes the tricky part. This is not a tricky part, Master. No? I can do it. All right, let me see. I'm going to put this one here. Hmm, very good. But you don't need, you only need, no, go ahead, that's fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There. Very There's good. There's that palace door. All right, now the roof. How will you build the roof? I'm going to put this pink one here. The roof is not the match. That's okay. Oh, you have to be careful, don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm using all these pink squares. So I can build. Oh, I'm you're doing a fantastic job. Thanks. Oh. I'm putting this green one next to this pink one. Uh-huh, I see. I'm putting this one here. There's two more. Yeah, because you asked for another one. Here, we'll put this one away because it's just a boring... Is this transparent or translucent? Translucent because I can't see all the way through it. That is correct. All right. Now, great job. You have succeeded in these challenges. Oh, it's a little heavier this time. There we go. Very good. Very good. And now, I can't actually give you the ability to fly. But what I can give you, and he pulls out this long wooden broom. This is a magic broom. And if you sit on it and say the magic words, well, you can fly. Well, my flying Paris flew off, so I need to get 
get them back. Well, this will give you the ability to fly if you sit on it and say the magic words. Do you want to know what the magic words are? Mm-hmm. Why don't you make them up? Will it give me new flying power? Yes, all you have to do is sit on the broom. Whoa! All you have to do is sit on the broom and it will make you fly. What are the magic words? Well, at my house I say, Wuzzle, wuzzle, win. Wuzzle, wuzzle, win. That sounds great. All right, now say, wuzzle, wuzzle, win. And let's, do, let's roll a d20 to see if your magic words work. Roll a d20. Well, actually... You want to roll I, the pink one? Yeah. Okay, roll the pink one. roll the Dabber Master. Oh, okay. So we're going to roll... You want advantage, is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll roll, and you'll tell me what the numbers are. I rolled, now you roll. So that doesn't do. That doesn't do it. Let's hope you do it. What did you get? Eleven. Eleven will do it. And as you say, waza waza whoom. It's actually whizza waza whim. Whizza waza whim. If you say whizza waza whim, and all of a sudden the broom lifts up off the sky, off the ground, and shoom, and you zoom around, and you can fly all over the place. And then it takes me to my magic flying in power, and then it sees me. Oh, really? Then I think so. It goes back down, and then I have my flying power. Well, now. you have your flying power because you have the ability to fly on a broom. So keep the broom with you and your character, and the next time we play, maybe it will come in handy. What do you think? But. First, Master, I got to find my magic flying power. <laughs> well, the, ma- the broom, honey, the broom is going to give you the ability to fly. Because it can fly and you can ride it. Ooh. And its power go to me, and now I can fly! <laughs> we'll see. you woke up your sister which means it is next time we play we'll see what happens okay